Is there a new mid-journey competitor on the block? Well, let's find out. Ideogram just released version 2.0 of its app minutes ago. So let's dive in live. I'll show you exactly what Ideogram is, uh, how it works, and go over some of the new features and maybe do a very quick comparison or two um, between Midjourney because you know I still think Midjourney is the leader in the AI text to image space. So we'll see if they have a real competitor here. Uh, all right. Let's dive in, but before we do, let me tell you what this is. My name's Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily news that are helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI to grow their company and grow their careers. Uh, so uh, here's Ideogram for you know super high level. So they came out with their V1 many months ago. I thought it was pretty good. It didn't get a lot of uh, a, a lot of play, I guess, um, but. They have great funding from uh, Andreessen Horowitz. Uh, you know, they have, uh, it, this is built by former uh, Google uh, researchers. So, you know, good team. Uh, they have the funding. So let's dive in. So uh, you can sign up for a free account with your uh, Gmail account. That's what I did. And for my last review. Uh, so then when you log in, you're going to be greeted with kind of what's new uh, here inside version two. All right. So here's the high level custom color schemes, enhanced text rendering, improved prompt adherence, design focus, uh, magic prompt feature, style definition, better image to text or sorry, better image to image remixing and a variety of outputs. So, you know, 3D styles, et cetera. All right. Let's jump in and do it live together. All right, so it looks like this just takes me to the blog post. It explains a little bit more. All right, uh, and then also it looks like some uh, some benchmarks here. Love to see it. Uh, Flux Pro, let me know if you want to see Flux Pro. It's been sweeping the internet, uh, open source. I'll probably do something on that. Uh, but we, we have some um, some benchmarks here between uh, Dolly and Ideogram 2.0. Uh, the same thing with uh, Flux Pro here. Uh, so let's see. There we go. I have to re-accept the terms uh, with V2. All good. All right. So uh, here's what we're going to do. I haven't used this in a very long time since I did my initial review a super long time ago. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll do some of these same prompts over and see if the output got better. All right. So let's just go ahead and see. I can click this uh, and do my uh, copy my prompt. Also, uh, I should let everyone know I'm on the free plan. All right. So uh, I do think most of these features are available on the free plan, but just uh, in limited. But you can go to upgrade uh, so we can see kind of the, the, the difference here. So we get 10 slow credits a day, which is up to 40 images. Uh, let's see. Okay. So this just shows you kind of the different models. So it looks like to use the 2.0 model, which is what we want to use. If we want to do fast, uh, one credit is four images, two credits, four images. Okay. Uh, it doesn't make, okay. I think it does. So the default is, uh, it's going to take two credits to make four images. So we're not going to be able to do a ton of testing. Uh, so you can do this 400, uh, 400 credits a month for $7, uh, a thousand credits a month for, uh, $16. I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of this credit pricing structure. I like what mid journey does. We use mid journey a ton. Uh, I don't even know if mid journey has credits has limits. I think it does, but you know, for $20 a month, you never really hit it. So not a huge fan of, um, of these limits, although it does look like, I mean, 4,000 images, uh, you know, if you're using it more than that, maybe you should be paying more. So, uh, I guess it's fine overall. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just test ideogram right away. And actually, instead of doing one of these old ones first, because our, our, our limits are sometimes credit, uh, or our credits are sometimes limited. I'm actually going to do what they did in their kind of hype video here. Uh, so, I always do this when companies show something, you know, this is what we do at Everyday AI. We never take some someone's word, right? So uh, they have this text prompt and they show it makes something, you know, really good looking like this. All right. So we're going to do that exact same prompt and we're going to see if it gives us uh, a similar image. So let's go ahead. Our first, uh, first one here. So I'm going to click uh, this in here. Uh, there's our prompt. We just essentially copied and pasted it. Uh, from the video there. And I'm going to double check here to see if, if they did certain settings because I do want to see if we can replicate it. Uh, so it doesn't look like they really did anything 16 by 9, uh, not a custom uh, color palette, etc. So let's go ahead um, and 
click generate. So you'll see right here, um, it says uses two credits. So if I click the you know 1.0, I'm guessing, yep, it's only gonna use one. Uh, so some of the basic options, we don't have magic prompt. So what that does is it enhances your initial prompt to improve the quality. Uh, Personally, I don't like that. Dolly does it by default, which I do not like. Um, and there's really no way around it aside from with some uh, tricky uh, prompt engineering. Uh, so I'm going to keep everything else as is, except I am going to go 16 by 9 so we can have the same thing. It looks like you can do uh, different uh, variations. Some of them are locked, presumably only if you have the paid plan. All right, let's go ahead and generate. And again, these are slow credits. Uh, so, I mean, we'll see if it starts to render here or not. Uh, okay. So 10% completed. All right. It's, it's going fast. I wasn't going to make you uh, sit here and wait. So actually what we're going to do in the meantime is we're going to do the exact same thing in mid journey. Okay. Uh, so we'll see mid journey. One thing that it struggles with, it has historically, it's gotten better in uh, 6.1 in V6.1 is the ability to use text. So that's what we are asking uh, with this prompt. Okay. So surprisingly enough, uh, surprisingly enough, it did a really good job. We got almost, I, I mean, I won't say verbatim, I mean, but look at this, y'all. Look at this one. And then look at that one. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive, right? Uh, this, this, uh, the prompt was extremely specific. And that's why we are getting, uh, it's almost like the temperature is like down to zero, right? We're getting almost no variance here. Uh, but that's because one of the things that Ideogram was testing uh, was the ability to really prompt handle very closely. So now I'm going to change things. I'm going to change this. Uh, so here's, here's what I do a lot of times, y'all. I just use ChatGPT for this. I'm going to say, change this prompt to include the name Jordan and change the dog to a uh, lab, a yellow lab. I'm going to say a, a yellow lab puppy. All right, let's be real. Let's get this super cute. A yellow lab puppy, because I don't want to have to retype this. Uh, so ChatGPT is just going to... Uh, it actually didn't do a good job. Uh, okay. So let's just, <laughs> it just put a photo of Jordan's dog's birthday celebration. All right. So we're just going to retype this a little bit. So we're going to say a photo of a dog's birthday celebration. A Let's go ahead and click a baby yellow lab puppy. I'm going to say with a blue bow tie is standing proudly all right, let's see if it actually said happy birthday. Behind the dog, there's a vibrant backdrop with it that says happy birthday. Uh, we'll say everyday AI. This is my birthday present. Anyone want to send me a baby lab for my birthday? All right, and then let's uh, play Let's play around with some of these uh, new features as well. So there's a color palette. So by default, because I describe uh, the colors up here, I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Um, so I don't want to, aside from the yellow lab, I don't really want to be pushing uh, ideogram in a certain way. Um, so I'm going to say, okay, there are balloons. Okay. And then we're going to pick a different color scheme. So let's do, let's do this magic. No, let's actually do pastel. Let's do pastel there. All right. So there we go. We got our pal, our color palette. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, little UX, uh, there. Okay. So now I'm going to do a fast rendering. Okay. No, we aren't. That's a option as well. All right, so we're just going to do that. So we're changing the dog, we're changing the color scheme, and we are also putting the name Jordan to see if that goes into uh, the sign. So as we do that, let's go and check on our mid journey image. Did okay, right? It got uh, again. I think the photo is actually better. It looks a little more realistic. It looks a little more high quality. But you can see the text. Uh, the text did not turn out right. We asked for this. Um, it says, behind the dog, there's a vibrant backdrop with blue and pink streamers and a happy birthday banner. It says happy birthday banner, but it put happy birthday uh, on the cake. So uh, Mid Journey, I think, had a higher quality image, but the prompt handling in Ideogram is far better, y'all. So uh, let's just go ahead. I'm going to run the exact, the updated uh, prompt here inside of Mid Journey, and let's check on Ideogram. Uh, and see how it did. 
All right, there we go. So let's look at the text. Happy birthday, everyday AI. Okay, so it did a pretty good job. I'd say it got about about 85, 90% of the text right. Wasn't 100% where it did a much better job the first time. Um, is this a yellow lab? Maybe, I don't know. Could be cuter, could be cuter. Uh, but the uh, the pastel colors and, and everything like that, really good. So let's go ahead and quickly try out the remix feature. Uh, let's see how this works. So uh, let's see, I can click use. Uh, okay, that just brings up the text. Remix, upscale. So I'm gonna click remix. And essentially this looks like it's just rerunning the prompt. Uh, we can give it a different image weight, uh, et cetera. Let's go ahead and pump up the image weight a little bit. And then let's do, let's click realistic. And then I'm going to say a baby yellow lab puppy. I'm going to say a fluffy. I need this thing fluffy, please. We're trying to up the cute here, y'all. All right. And then let's also change the color scheme to this mosaic. We'll see how that uh, turns out. So again, we're just remixing this. We're now clicking the uh, image presets to make it more realistic, uh, changing a, a simple thing by the it's now fluffy. And then I'm going to go ahead and change instead of everyday AI, I'm going to put Jordan. All right. Happy birthday, Jordan. Here's your puppy. All right. This is it y'all. I didn't want to make this super long. I just wanted to show you all, uh, the new version of ideogram V2, uh, you, you know, run it against mid journey. Uh, so let's see how mid journey did with this update. So Okay. In the second one, I think Midjourney actually did better in some instances and worse in others. So now actually the, the, the dog looks, you know, more CGI esque where I think the first time around, uh, let's see our first one here. I think the dog actually looked more realistic. Um, it did give me, uh, you know, a little bit better prompt handling. It actually put happy birthday on the sign, uh, but spelled things wrong again. So let's look at the last ideogram, uh, right here. So, okay. So, uh, let's look at these. So it's not, it's not as fluffy. All right. Let's go back here. Uh, not as fluffy as I want. And it doesn't, doesn't really look like a yellow lab anymore. Uh, but let's look at the text. Uh, so happy birthday, E Jordan. Uh, so some mixed results here, some mixed results, if I'm being honest, you know what? I didn't want to make this into a long one, but I actually want to see how it handles humans. Okay. So I'm going to go into mid journey. I'm going to grab one that I already ran actually when I was uh, comparing it to imagine, uh, three. Uh, so I'm going to, let's find one that I think turned out decently well in, uh, in mid journey. So let's just go do this one. All right. And this is probably going to be the end of my credits here. So I'm going to Let's change this. Let's go for something a little more. Uh, let's see here. We'll do this one, ultramarine. All right, there we go. And we're gonna. This is not gonna be a remix. All right, so a little. Uh, okay, maybe is it is it remix by default? Let's see here. Okay, yeah, that was a little confusing because I was in the remix previous and I was trying to do a new prompt. It still said remix, which I did not want. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead down here, use this ultramarine. Uh, again, the the UX is finicky. Uh, I don't like that when you scroll, things jump. Uh, they might, I mean, maybe they don't want to look at that. I don't know. I would if I were them. Uh, so let's go ahead. And it does look like if you have the pro version, uh, you can do seed numbers and negative prompts. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. We'll do, this is our last one, y'all. This is our last one. So uh, here's what Mid Journey, uh, here's kind of what Mid Journey gave us, right? Uh, pretty okay, but I actually think the Imagine, uh, Imagine 3 from Google did a better job um, of the people, which I was very surprised at. Mid Journey, for the most part, is heads and shoulders above everyone else. So let's see how Ideogram uh, 2.0 does. Here, did I not click generate? All right. I thought I did. I'm going to pause this. We're going to look at the end. All right. Took, took an extra couple of seconds. Uh, so actually not bad. I don't, I don't hate it. Um, yeah. And I did accidentally run this one twice. So it did a pretty good job with this color scheme, even though this might not have been, uh, the best, um, kind of color scheme for this, but I mean, let's look at the results here. 
the results are pretty good. Pretty good. Um, not bad, right? When we compare it to what we got out of uh, Mid Journey. I don't know. Ideograms looking pretty good. Handles text a little better. I like some of the features. The UI, the UX uh, is is not my not my favorite, but the quality here overall pretty good. Ideogram. All right. I know this was a longer one. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you want to see more like this. But go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for the free daily newsletter. We'll see you back for another AI in five or AI in fifteen. Thanks, y'all.